Welcome to the second part of metric multiplication where math will be done with amounts that have different units of measurements. What do I mean by different units of measurements? For example, you may need to do math where the amounts are followed by newtons or amps or uh, the amounts may refer to meters or watts. In this video I'll show you how it's done. The procedure that you need to follow is the same procedure that you needed to follow when uh, multiplication was done with similar units of measurements. You need to convert the given units to base units, you need to do the multiplication itself and you need one more conversion to be done, convert the answer to requested units. Let me give you an example how things work here. For example, you might need to calculate if a force of 50 newtons is exerted at the end of a lever that has a length of 2 meters, what torque is being generated in the system? First, converting to base units. Well, I made it easy. These are simple ones where these are base units already. You can tell these are base units because they don't have any metric prefixes. They are not centi or milli or kilo, none of that. These are for, uh, in terms of math, don't worry about the physics, these are base units. Next one, do the multiplication. 50 times 2, that's 100. Now what do we do with the units of measurements? We have newtons, we have meters, and sometimes these different units of measurements combine to make a third new type of measurements. In this case, it is going to be called newton meters, sometimes printed as capital N, lowercase m, sometimes there's a dash in between newton meters. Either which way, it has the same meaning 100 newton meters of torque. A second example would be um, what work is done by a system that exerts a power of 10 watts for a duration of 3 seconds. What work is done? The same thing, the same procedure works. Uh, you have to make sure these are base units and these are base units. No metric prefixes. Nothing is milli or centi here. Next one, do the numbers. 10 times 3, 30. And again, there are there is no requested unit because I wanted to make it easy. Watts and seconds combined to make a new unit of measurement, joules. This is how mechanical work is calculated or is defined. Don't worry about the physics part too much. Concentrate on the math. So far, so good. These are the simple ones where you just crunch the numbers and uh, and the numbers copy uh, unchanged because these are base units, these are base units and they make a third kind of new base unit. Lastly, electrical power. For example, you have a you have a current flow of, I don't know, 5 amps and an electromotive force or also also known as electric potential of I don't know, 6 volts. The question is, how much electric power will the power company charge you for? And, and this is done the same way. These are base units. These are not kilovolts. These are not milliamps. Let's get going with multiplication. 5 times 6. Okay, that's also 30. And volts and amps, in this case, make, again, a new unit of measurement called watts and the power company charges you for watts or kilowatts well actually kilowatt hours but that's another story so there you go the requested amount well there, there wasn't one but two new two base units make up a third new base unit so these ones are the fairly simple ones where the numbers just multiply straight in a straightforward manner but that may not be the case when you have prefixes 
intuitively or logic might dictate that millivolts and milliamps multiply to be milliwatts but that isn't the case I guarantee you that and I'm gonna prove it to you for example 5 millivolts and 5 milliamps will not make 25 milliwatts it's not gonna happen and uh, you might recall that in the previous title when we did multiplication metric mu metric multiplication with similar units of measurement that millimeters and millimeters combined to square millimeters which was a new unit of measurement square millimeters but the numbers multiplied without a problem across the board but it doesn't work when you have different units of measurements volts and amps are different millimeters and millimeters were similar units so whatever work worked there will certainly not work here let me prove it to you here quickly five millivolts is where we start first step converting it to base units so we go from millivolts to volts millivolts are here volts are here standard procedure one two three jumps over and in that direction so we start with five millivolts I just copy the amount down here five is the same as 5.0 so that's where the decimal dot is in the beginning and we are moving it three spots over in the same direction that's where the decimal dot is gonna end up and that's the new amount in volts so I'm gonna copy it here 5 millivolts is the same as 0 0.005 volts or 5 thousandth of a volt as the meaning of the word milli is thousandth the same story happens to 5 milliamps it's the same number it's got the same milli prefix so it's the same number of jumps away and in the same direction so it's gonna have the same result with the difference being that this time it's amps so far so good we're done with the first step converting to base units now we multiply well this one has three decimal digits and that number also has three decimal digits so the answer will have six decimal digits and there will be a 25 somewhere in it but uh, but where exactly well let's do it quickly on a calculator 0 0.005 times 0 0.005 equals that number after the decimal dot you have four zeros mm, that will be zero point two three four zeros followed by the 25 and that's gonna be and that's gonna be in watts base units base unit and it combines to me a, be a third base unit everything without prefixes so we're done with the numbers last step convert the answer to the requested unit what are base units prefix -le prefix less so we start here and we're going three spots over in that direction to arrive to milli watts decimal dot is there for a starter and it goes over one two three spots I'm just gonna copy this one clean down here the answer is 0 0.025 milliwatts 25,000th milliwatts not 25 milliwatts you need to practice it you need to follow this procedure follow it every time and you will get a correct result every time you need to practice it on your own time on your own dime I don't want to use class time for it and here are some ideas how you can practice it change those millivolts to kilovolts and change those milliamps to decaamps and calculate the result in I don't know hectowatts uh, change the numbers as well uh, experiment with these instead of 50 newtons uh, try it with kilonewtons and uh, try it with centimeters see how many newton meters of torque you get out of it you have to practice it you have to get to a level of proficiency 
I can't do the learning for you, you have to do it.